flying an F-16 isn't for the faint of heart, especially during a flight test for the ACAT project at NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center. Automatic collision avoidance technology has been a joint effort between NASA and the Air Force for 25 years, but its implementation is just on the horizon. The technology uses a computer system designed to prevent planes from crashing. The ACAT project is developing a technology uh, primarily intended to improve aviation safety. The project that we just finished completing addresses ground collision avoidance, which is actually currently the major leading cause of fatalities in aviation. We are going to be going on to address air collision avoidance, which is the second leading cause. The technology can be applied to more than just aviation as well. It could be applied to any sort of vehicle that has to avoid some sort of a collision threat. So the potential in the future is quite large, and we hope that we can explore that. The last 15 years of research have been focused on refining the technology so that it doesn't interfere with missions involving required dangerous maneuvers. However, the system would still take over when the pilot is disoriented or unable to control the aircraft. During flight testing, project pilots activate the computer system by performing different maneuvers. One of the cardinal rules in flight tests is we never go beyond our own comfort level. We, we actually pad the system a little bit so it gives a, a fly up before the operational system would. While we're getting very close to the ground, we never go past our comfort level. However, there is that small margin where you're not past your comfort level, but you're going right up to it, which can be pretty stressful. Your hand is right on the stick, right on the paddle switch. Uh, you're you're kind of gearing up to speed up your reflexes because when the time comes to avoid the ground, you have less than a second of reaction time to do that. Since ACAT was funded in 2007, five fatalities have resulted from accidents that could have been prevented had the software been in place. After 25 years of developing and testing, it may seem that this technology is a long time coming, but when its value is taken into consideration, it's well worth the wait.